So what we are going to talk about now, it goes by the playful name, Eightfold Path or Eightfold Way. Uh, I want to say Eightfold Path. Um, it's uh, the physicist who came up with this way of organizing newly discovered particles was enamored. His name is Gelman or Gelman, he's not Asian, but he was very into Eastern mysticism. I think this is taken from some Buddhist things. <laughs> so this is how he started by organizing these mesons. So you have these eight particles and they can arrange into a hexagonal shape of a sort. So <laughs> let me, um, I have a reference to check if I do this wrong, so we'll um, check it after I'm done. So the way he organized is this. Um, I think he put the pi ions along a horizontal. So pi neutral, um, I want to say it's pi minus here and pi plus here. And um, at the same center, you would, he would also have the Ada meson, because he's looking at these two as a similar versions of each other. Ada is the heavier version of neutral pi meson. And he arranged these K mesons kind of around it. So this is where I have to be careful. Um, I think. I want to put the charge to K minus here. Um, then you do have one of the neutral K mesons here. Um, and you would have uh, charged, the positively charged K meson here, and the antiparticle version of the neutral K meson there. And um, there is actually some scheme to this. Um, uh, I don't want to spend, the baryon one is a one that's more intuitively easy to understand, but let me just point out some of the scheme that's developing from this particular arrangement. You can see that these are arranged along a pattern of having the same charge. These diagonal lines, you would say charge of minus one, charge of zero, charge of plus one. And, um, and you can assign, I guess, just one more line uh, by strangeness. So, I think I was just looking it up in the table. I think to be correct, the strangeness you would assign is um, these particles here have strangeness of one. These have strangeness of, sorry, zero. These are the unstrange particles. And uh, this one at the top would have the opposite strangeness, strangeness of minus one. I think that's right. But let me just double check. Yeah, I, I think that's right. Um, so this is one pattern <laughs> that you have. Let's uh, before we go on further, let's just double check one of the references I have to make sure I didn't misremember some things. I mean, the overall pattern. I'm sure I got it right. It's a uh, question of, um, did I flip some corners around? So let's see, I have a diagram here somewhere. Um, with none of this we're gonna talk about. Um, let's see. Huh, I thought I had something here. Okay, so it must be in the next one. Um, So the way it got organized is, ah, there's, no, that's the baryon. Ah, here's the meson. I think I 
flipped some around. As long as I gave them correct labels, I think I'm OK with it. I don't really mind if I, sorry, um, I zoomed in with the wrong control. This is the control I want you to use. Um, so let's see what, if any, I messed up. Um, don't think I messed up much. So I just, uh, um, the way it's uh, plotted there, um, these two are flipped around. But otherwise, I didn't mess up anything else, right? Um, and I guess um, if this is flipped around, then this is kind of the line of constant charges the same. But um, this is really what I'm looking at. Um, so I got, oh, wait, I forgot to label one of the uh, antiparticles. So the, I w need to have given the antiparticle distinction here. So this is the first neutral K meson, which is associated with the strangeness of one. And uh, there's apparently a second neutral K meson that's not associated with the strangeness of one. And this would be discovered through observing various interactions. They would look at like this particle by everything else. It should be neutral K meson, but it doesn't decay like this one does. It decays in a way that, um, it decays in a different way that involves a strangeness changing differently. So this says strangeness of minus one. 